who are here um, from Intermountain Health, I have a code for you at the end. And let's come to our comfortable seats. And as I mentioned, if you've joined me before, this is our last week of working on our energy centers from the base of the spine all the way to the crown. And we're now up here at the crown. Color is purple. I don't have much for purple clothing, so I didn't wear any. Instead, I chose to wear light, nice and dark colors for you. <laughs> so purple and sometimes the crown chakra is experienced as um, a clear or a white. So it really depends on what it is for you. So bringing the awareness to the crown, if you would like to take the mudra or the hand posture for this, it's creating an orb with your hands, basically. Fingertips are touching, thumbs are touching, and you bring this to your solar plexus. And as you close your eyes and begin to tune into your breath, you can keep the awareness at the crown as you let your breath move thoroughly. In through the nose and out through the nose. Bringing that awareness to a color, if you would like, of either purple or white. And the mantra or the affirmation is two Sanskrit syllables of so hum. Inhaling so, exhaling hum, roughly translated to I am that, or I am always already present. So on the inhale, Hum on the exhale. And connecting hands together at heart center in prayer position or Anjali Mudra. Take an inhale and sit even taller. Exhale, bow toward your heart. And then softly opening your eyes, releasing your hands down, give just a couple rolls back with the shoulders and a little ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder with your head and neck. Just bring a, bringing a little awareness to whatever tension might be present there through the shoulders, the neck. Turn your palms outward and inhale, stretch your arms up overhead. You're welcome to connect fingertips at the top if you would like to. Then on your exhale, we're taking a twist over to the left side. Inhale, reaching arms up overhead and exhale, taking that twist over to the right side. And we'll take one more on each side. Inhale, arms overhead and exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, arms lift and exhale, twist to the right. Then inhale, arms overhead, clasp your hands, turn your palms up and press up with your palms. Draw shoulder blades onto your back. And from here, if you have super tight shoulders, your arms might be more in front of you than overhead and that's okay. Wherever they happen to be, take a big deep breath and think of lifting up higher through your whole rib cage, your collarbones, Maybe your gaze lifts a little bit. And then releasing the hands down, switch the cross of the legs, coming to the less comfortable cross for yourself. Shift your sitting bones. And now hands in front to clasp, pull forward with your arms and round back through your spine, getting that expansion into the upper back. Your chin tucks down. You're welcome to close your eyes here if you would like and then add some turning of the head. Inhale, sit tall, hands come behind you to clasp. Press palms together, lift your shoulders up and back, and then take a little ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder.
Back into center now, hands work out to your knees and we'll take a couple circles with our rib cage. Exhale, press back through your spine. Inhale, circle the ribs out to the left side all the way around the front and exhale back on the right. Inhale, circle around to the left and exhale back on the right. One more in this direction, full inhale and long deep exhale. Inhale, circle to the right side Exhale back on the left. Inhale, circle around. Long, full exhale. One more big breath in this direction. Then inhale, sit tall, shift forward, coming onto hands and knees. And from hands and knees, we're going to take that puppy pose variation here of being on your knees, your hips are lifted, and then you're setting your head down. Hands come so that your elbows are on the ground for support. First finger and thumb come to connect. Your head rests, and if you would prefer to set it on something, you can. So you can put it on a, a blanket or a block here if you want. But take a big, deep breath with your head connecting to the earth. And then gently rise up to your hands and knees, set yourself up, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Find that rotation of upper arm bones so they're turning a little forward or your elbow pits are turning forward. Tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog pose. And take a couple big breaths here, pedaling out and lengthening the back sides of your legs. As you bend one knee at a time and think of reaching through the calves and through the heels on the opposite leg, just notice for yourself whatever is there for sensation. You can always let your eyes close here as your head reaches toward the ground. And then find your way forward, walking toward the front of your mat. Use blocks here to support yourself if you would like or whatever you happen to have to bring the floor a little closer to you. A little bend to your knees and your feet can always be wider than your hips if that feels better on your low back. But take an inhale and lengthen part way. Lift with your heart, sitting bones lift up. Exhale and fold. Plant fingertips and step your right foot back into your lunge. And you can have the back knee down or up. It's entirely up to you. But inhale, lift up with your torso to rise, centering with your hips. And if you want to, reach your arms. Take a full, big, deep breath. And think of reaching through the crown of your head, lengthening the back of your neck. If you'd like to come back to that mantra of so hum, you're welcome to. Exhaling, hands come down to the front of your mat. Step back to your downward facing dog pose. Take a big breath right here. Then inhale, come forward into your plank pose. Knees can always come down. Find that rotation of elbow pits forward. Push and then lower all the way down onto your belly. From here, Locust pose, reach your arms back behind you, palms are facing your legs, lift up and open through the shoulders. As you exhale, think of toning through the low belly and the ribs. Inhale, lift your legs and your chest at the same time. If that's in your practice, you can always stay lower or just set your feet down or set your hands down. Take a big breath. Exhale, tuck toes, plant hands, and push through hands and knees to down dog. Or if you have that straight up push up to down dog, you're welcome to. Take a deep breath. We stepped our right foot back to begin with, so we'll step our right foot forward in between our hands. You're welcome to bring the back knee down to get it there. And then lift your torso up for your lifted lunge. Center with your hips. And remember, back knee is always welcome to be down. And then if you want to, you can stretch up. Take a deep breath. Again, as you lengthen through the crown, think of a long back of the neck 
Energetically pushing through the feet and reaching upward. Exhale, hands come down to the front of your mat. Inhale, step forward, coming into your forward fold. And exhale, as you fold in, you can take the variation here that feels the best in your body, maybe even elbows or hands at your thighs, but let the back of your neck get long and take a big breath. And then walk your hands up your legs to rise all the way up to your mountain pose. Feet inner hip distance apart and parallel. Lift and spread your toes and root. Lift up and open through your shoulders. Eyes can close if you would like. Take a big breath. Again, maybe coming back to that mantra of so hum. Inhale, stretch up overhead. Exhale, soft knees to fold over your legs. Inhale, lengthen, extend, tailbone up, crown of head forward. Exhale and fold. Plant fingertips, you're stepping right foot, just kidding, left foot back into your lunge. We're switching the leg, we step back this time. And now inhale, reach up and rise, come to your lifted lunge, center with your hips. Again, back knee can always be down. As you lift your arms, think of lifting up through your ribs and your collarbones, and then broaden tops of shoulders. Lengthen the crown. Take a full, big, long inhale and exhale. Turn and plant your back heel. So your hips are turning to the left side. You're opening your front knee up. And as you reach your arms for warrior two, you can take your gaze out over your front fingers if you would like to. Full breath. Exhaling, hands come all the way down to the front of your mat. You're tucking your back toes and stepping back to a downward facing dog pose. Full big breath, if down dog is a fatiguing pose for you today, knees on the ground is always an option. Inhale, come forward into a plank. Again, knees can come down if you'd like, but rotate elbow pits forward and push. Extend forward with your heart. Keep your belly toned even as you bend elbows and lower down. And now, Hands underneath your shoulders, reach back with one leg at a time, and then root down with tops of feet and knees. Engage the low belly. Use an exhale to engage the ribs, the flaring ribs, draw them in. Then on your next inhale, lift up with your hands, lift up with your legs. Think of shoulders lifting up and back, head in line with your spine. You can even close your eyes here if you'd like to and think of length all the way from your tail to your crown. Exhale, pushing through hands and knees if you'd like to downward facing dog pose, take a full big breath. And again, remember knees are always an option instead of down dog. And now looking in between your hands, you're stepping left foot forward since we stepped it back and rising up to your lifted lunge, centering with your hips and reaching your arms. Take that broadening action through tops of shoulders and then lift up through your front. Big deep breath. Turn and plant your back heel, opening the hips up to the right side, opening the knee up on the front leg to the left. Arms can reach. Gaze can draw over the front fingers if that feels good. Take a full big deep breath. Exhaling, hands come down to the front of your mat. Tuck your back toes and step forward. Coming into that forward fold place. And as with the first one, think of this forward fold as a comfortable place for you. So maybe your hands or your elbows come to your thighs instead of folding all the way over your legs. Let the back of your neck be long and take a deep breath.
Hands to hips, press back on hips, lift up with elbows, and then rise all the way up to stand. As you find inner hip distance apart and parallel, come back to that hand position if you'd like to, or fingertips connecting in that orb in front of you. Eyes close and return to that mantra of so hum. Inhale, stretch up overhead. Exhale, soft through the knees to fold over the legs. Inhale, lengthen partway, long spine. Exhale and fold. And now you're planting fingertips, stepping your right foot back into your lunge. Bring your right knee down to the ground and you can always set it on a blanket here, but work your hands to the inside for this alligator pose variation. And for this one, we're gonna heel toe our, le our left foot out to the left so that our knee and toes are off at the same angle. And then extend further forward through your front. You might stay up high here on your hands or work down towards your elbows. Take a couple big breaths. And then wrap the left hip back, even as you push your left big toe mound down. Push down with your right knee so that your hip has a little bit of lift. And now if you would like to, you can lift up with the front part of your foot on your left leg and then pivot open on your heel so your knee is opening up a little bit more to the right, or to the left side rather. Extend further forward with your heart. Take a deep breath. Stay pushing down with your back knee so your hip isn't sinking toward the ground. It tends to be one of the things when you take that front part of your foot away on the left leg that your right hip sometimes wants to drop. And now come back into center with your left foot, heel toe your foot back in towards your midline and we're setting Left hand, oh my goodness, sides today. Right hand on a block or the floor on the edge of your mat. Left hand to your knee as you turn your belly and your heart toward the left side. Shoulder blades are on your back. Take a deep breath in this spinal twist. And then bring hands all the way back down to the ground. And this time you're settling back onto hands and knees. Big toes together, knees wide if that feels okay in your body. And settle hips back towards your heels into your child's pose. Letting your head settle. And then inhale, rising up to your hands and knees. We're stepping right foot forward in between your hands. And from there, we've got hands coming to the inside and heel toeing our front foot out to the right. Back your back knee up as far as you need to go. Extend your heart further forward. And then start to work down toward one elbow, maybe two. Maybe stay up high, that's an option. From here, push your big toe mound down into the floor on your front leg and wrap your right hip back. Push down with your back knee to find that little bit of lift through the hip. Take a big deep inhale and exhale in and out of your nose. And then lift up with the front part of your right foot if that feels okay. So you have your heel as your pivot point and then start to open the knee up as you pivot on your heel. You're still pressing down with your left knee and extending further forward through your front body, through your ribs and collarbones. And then bring your foot back to center, heel toe it back in towards your midline and then you're rising back up to your hands. You can use a block or the floor for your left hand, right hand to your knee as you take that twist 
to the right. Shoulder blades are both engaging. Take a full big breath. On your exhale, both hands come back down to the inside, and then we're gonna step back. And one more time, taking that child's pose, hips to heels. As you take that child's pose, if you would like to take the bent elbow position with hands in prayer position, you're welcome to, where your forehead comes to rest, and maybe your hands come back behind your head or your neck. And now gently press yourself all the way back upright to your seat. And now from your seat, we're taking soles of feet together into a butterfly, finding that opening through the inner thighs. If you'd like to, you can work with a blanket here, find a fold of it that has a longer side and then roll that longer side up and then place the blanket over your feet and underneath your legs for a little support. And now ideally we're finding that place where your feet are as close to or as far away from you as your body needs to be able to sit up tall through your spine. So holding on to the blanket, your toes, your shins, maybe even use a little propping action with fingers behind you. Think of tilting your belly toward your feet and lifting up through your ribs, your chest, your heart. Closing your eyes here if that's comfortable. Take a couple big breaths. And notice the effect of your breath on the length of your spine, maybe even on the openness of your legs. And now you can softly open your eyes and move your feet a little further away from you. Think of taking a diamond shape with your legs. And if you have a pillow or bolster, you're gonna set it in between your legs and over your feet, over your blanket. Press down with fingertips beside you or behind you and lengthen. And then as you exhale and fold towards your pillow or bolster, feel free to add more props. Ideally, we're bringing our head to come down to rest and take some full deep breaths. And now inhale, gently bring yourself back upright. And you can set the props aside so that you can shift onto your back. So bring your knees up together and then make your way all the way down onto your back. And from your back, if you do have a prop to use, you can set something in between your knees here with your knees up towards your chest. And then drop your knees over to the right side and you might be setting them up on another prop. So maybe one in between your knees and one underneath them. And now from this place, if you'd like, open your left arm up to the left. You can always take it to a cactus instead with a 90 degree angle. Maybe turn your gaze to the left. If it's comfortable to close your eyes, then feel free to do so and let your breath become soft but full.
And now inhale, bring your knees back up to center. Prop in between your legs is how we start this so that we can just find the best, most comfortable spot for ourselves. And then take your legs over to the left side. And again, you might set them up on another prop. So one in between and one underneath. Or you might only use one of those props. You decide how that feels in your body today. And then maybe take that extension of your right arm or your gaze to the right. And as you let your breath be soft but full, you can bring awareness to any place in the body where you might experience a stretch or a sensation. And now back into center with your legs and take the prop out from in between them. And you're setting feet on the ground a little wider than your hips. Your knees can drop in together to touch here if that's comfortable. And then you're coming back to that mudra or the hand position of making that sphere with your hands. Fingertips are pressing into each other gently. And then you're bringing it to your solar plexus. As you let your eyes close, take a moment here to move through your body with your mind's eye. You can even add little shifts and movements through the hips, through the shoulders, maybe through the head and neck to help yourself come into a more comfortable, more settled place. And then come back to that mantra of so calm. And then begin to shift into whatever variation of Shavasana that would feel good in your body right now. Feel free to add cropping or a covering. Find what would help your body to settle the best. Bring awareness back to your breath. Add some gentle movements into your fingers and toes. We'll turn your head side to side. And bending your knees. Roll over to whichever side feels best in your body today. Slowly, gently using as little strength as possible, press yourself back up to your seat. And finding this hand posture or mudra of the sphere in front of your solar plexus, Eyes closed. Take another moment to return to that mantra. Inhaling so, exhaling hum. Uh, 
I am that. I am always already present. Have a very peaceful, beautiful rest of your day. Namaste. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>